air detox first. If you're wondering why I am feeling like this right now, it is because I am making, like, logging this video for you guys because you have to get on my tablet because my phone's storage is building up like balls. And even though I've deleted plenty of stuff, it's still saying, oh, it's fucking full. But this video is valued for two topics, so listen up. One, don't be so gullible like I am. That's a, that's a problem of mine. I'm not going to be chalky. One instant gratification while I talk. It's orange, my favourite colour. What can I make in this? But, some of the fact that my boyfriend knows, so I'm uploading this video right after if you guys notice. I'm gonna make mascara here. Well, eyeshadow. I just wanted to put it on today because I felt like it. And um, the people in the gym, the teens, they're doing like a part time job there. They're asking about it, so I just gave the excuse it's cosplay, even though I just felt like wearing it, you know. Just want to make myself uh, feel not pretty, you know. Don't worry, I'm not going to become trans. I don't want to become trans, like, ever. But it's just times where I feel like I want to make, wear makeup, you know. So. You know, I'll first tell this story and then I'll tell the next topic. So, hear me on this. So, what happened was, after I did my sets and reps at the gym, just finished my shoulder shrugs, and then I did... I carried on with my pull-ups. The last thing I did was my flies. If you guys don't know, that's when you're like this. I can't do exactly on the bed, but it's like this. Like that. And just, I went back to the reception now, and then basically, I'll say the name of the one, right? The one's red hair. Red haired boy, and his name's Thomas, just like me. What do you do? And then the other one, I think, is let's just call him Adam, right? Adam got black hair, white, they're both white. They're both the original plan was I was gonna race Thomas, right? But I ended up racing Adam just as he was explaining the forfeits. And by the time I was, because he was still talking about my makeup, I was like, yeah. What happened was, um, just he was explaining, he just went off, you know, just went zoom, straight off, and I tried to catch up with him. As I guessed, I would lost because he didn't give me a chance. He did it on purpose, and then he was explaining her about the forfeit that I had to kiss one of the girls there. There was four teenage girls, and, you know, they told me to kiss the one that I don't have a crush on. See, the one that I had a crush on, but I don't anymore. I mean, it's here and there. Like, I like her, like her, but while well, she's focusing on herself, she's, pro she's probably not interested in me much. I mean, sometimes she gives me that look, you know, that suspicious one where I'm convinced that she might have a crush on me. But, you know, um, I know I'm not suitable for her yet because I haven't got a job yet and I need to work on myself more. Don't fucking do what Elliot Roger did where he just rushes in. You need to persevere. As I've preached to you guys, work on yourself. Persevere on the journey get to where you want to be so there was this one who had like a bit of a ponytail not born i said the bottom one but i meant ponytail i didn't mind and i just went in for the kiss because that was what the forfeit was she pushed me away which i didn't, didn't blame her for doing but uh yeah it's gullible you know just as the saying goes if someone told you to jump off the cliff would you I probably would not only because my life's a mess but you know like the juice wood song sometimes life's a mess i get high when i'm upset well i don't get high when i'm upset but when i'm upset i journal i read i go to the gym or i vape but vape i'm more than likely gonna quit in the future i only started vaping last month but you know 
it's kind of gave me that escapism and I like the flavour, it's like blueberry flavour so next stop it was earlier today Aaron is I checking Hamza's reels but I was also checking his videos on YouTube rumours of course about quitting video games because you know the whole one hour excuse and this like I'd imagine if your girlfriend was pregnant and you know it's like it takes a toll on you because it's the realization of that wow you you're gonna have a kid you can have a fucking kid and that's big news and that takes full responsibility and you must be a responsible parent no matter how busy you are with your job, look after your fucking kid because you don't want them to feel left out. You don't want them to feel like you don't love them. You don't want them to feel like a failure throughout most of their childhood like I did. The other thing was about don't take the offer. That was another video from Hamza. And I completely agree. In the long run, guys, don't take sponsors that you don't feel is right. Think about it. Journal about it. Because... You know, Hamza was talking about the rappers, and it's true. Most rappers I don't like. Even though I'm a big fan of Juice World, he's kind of been like... He could have got more help with his drug addiction. And some of the things in his songs I don't agree with. But I I loved his legacy. I want to see him get Fighting Demons. Not only the CD, but the poster. I'm going to hand it, hand it up in my room. In the corner. You can't see it, but where my TV is. It's the left of me. So on, on your guys' screens will be right. But this is left, my left, right? Because this is like mirrored, because the camera is facing me, like face cam. That's why it's like I'm going right, but I'm actually going left. Right now, there's a division poster up, like not the, not like divide, not the fucking um, Ed Sheeran album, but like a literal table of them. So I'm going to keep my times table up because I'm still convinced I have this calculator, which. By the way, I'm going to make a video about this lecture and just calculate in the future, so look out for that. But mainly, it's just the whole point of they don't know how to save their money. They always take the offers and then they become in debt. You know, so it's their loss. They're, you know, those tattoo bombs that just fucking smoke weed most of the time and don't fucking give a toss and are flexing with girls or they're just saying the n-word out there every sentence and thinking they're cool i mean i get a few n-words in their rap songs but not like six nine who says and the n-word after every fucking sentence i fucking despise six nine any song that he's in i'm not going to listen to it i don't care if he collabs with someone that i really like and listen to i'm not fucking ever listening to a song with that prick in i don't fucking care if i've just got some haters i don't care that's my opinion i don't fucking like him at all never have done that stupid meme song, Gummy, you know, that other shit he's done. But yeah, um, but there's a good offer that you agree on, like, I, f I always forget the name. I think it's Bookscape, whatever the, the sponsor that Hamza has, something like that. He took that one where it's about self-improvement books to get like previews of it and then you got the full opportunity of just purchasing it. That's good. The only sponsor I regret him rejecting is NordVPN. I agree with VPN, um, you know, companies because they're really good. I think he would need it. But the whole part with like Raid Shadow Legends and all those other things he's been offered, I completely agree that you turn them down. But NordVPN, I think he should have gone with because most YouTubers have gone with that. And, um, you know, for example, AVGN, I don't watch him anymore i've watched him in a while but big respects to uh james rolf um i watched him in my childhood um but he he got sponsored by nord vpn a lot and um i think he got sponsored by some other vpn recently i think he changed to whatever the vpn was but yeah so i just that's the only one thing i disagree with in, the, in his emails that he rejected as a sponsorship offer have you guys enjoyed this explanation and have learned from it as if this was like a £5,000 or dollar course? But probably it would be £5,000, but if it was dollars, it'd probably be like something like 15 or... No, it wouldn't be 15, it'd be like 9 or 10. But you know, take this advice as if it's a really, really expensive course because that's what most people say about Hamza's videos. 
take them, process it, journal it if you have to. Just please take mine, Hamza's and many other masculine men's advice. You know, I'm not exactly completely masculine. Yes, I want to be more masculine, even though I am boy. So just please, just, you know, I've been taking accountability and I'm going to journal later about what the fuck I just did earlier. I'm proud that I hit two PRs at the gym today with the shoulder shrugs. And um, there was something like my flies, my flies. I have now used that with 14 kg on both sides as well. So that's really, really good. Um, yeah. All right. Love you all. Make sure to keep on improving in yourselves. Just like I've been saying in my Elliot Rogers skits as well. Because um, I'm still, I'm making one more video on that soon. Um, so be on the lookout for it. Um, just a quick message. My Elliot Roger videos are not to disrespect his family or any of the people who have lost their lives. These are just skits and they are videos to resemble my thoughts on what he would have been like in an alternate reality where he didn't do the, you know, the, the shooting. So, yeah, um, as me and Hamza preach on to many people on self-improvement, do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it.